What's up, Vineyard Kids? Day two of our Resurrection Egg devotional has something to do with money. In our oldest homemade set, we find three nickels. In the last set, we find three dimes. And in our fancy set, we find three silver Roman coins. And they represent the 30 pieces of silver that Judas got for doing something really wrong. In Matthew chapter 26, verses 14 and 15, we read that the Jewish leaders wanted to get rid of Jesus. He wasn't who they had in mind when they were thinking savior of the world. They wanted a warrior king who would conquer the Roman Empire. And that was not Jesus. He was peaceful, humble, full of God's love. And these Pharisees, the, the Jewish leaders, they also thought that they were better than everyone. They had more access to the rules, and so they thought they had more access to God, that they were closer to God. And Jesus told them that they needed to change their hearts. They didn't like being told that they were doing something wrong because this meant that they were sinning. And to sin means we say no to God in his ways, and we decide to go the opposite way. Have you ever done that? Me too. Here's a secret. Your parents have too. Judas was one of Jesus' disciples. So those are his original followers, his main boys. But what Judas did is he decided to say no to God and to do his own thing. He chose to throw away his love for Jesus. And instead, he told those who didn't want Jesus around how they could find him. Now remember, this is a long time ago. It's not like today with phones and the internet and we know what every celebrity looks like. They, didn't, they had no idea what Jesus looked like. So they needed someone to tell on him, to tell them who he was. And so Judas did for only 30 silver pieces. And even though Judas was one of Jesus' trusted disciples, his main boys, he said no to him. And sometimes it can be easy for us to say no to God. So let's promise right now to always try our best to live our lives in a way that shows others that we love and that we want to follow Jesus by treating them the way that he would treat them and showing them the difference he makes in our lives. Read those verses with your family. See you guys tomorrow. Love you. Now it's time to eat some real eggs. Catch you later.